Hey guys, it's Landon with RH. This is going to be a short video where I show you what a GLO, General Land Office, or a BLM, Bureau of Land Management, Master Title Plat is. So I did a quick search on YouTube. I could not find any videos, not one, on GLO, Master Title Plats, which goes to show just how dorky I really am. So, <laughs> now that we've got that out of the way, what is a master title plat? A master title plat tracks, or well, I say tracks, but that could be confusing, keeps track of land that leaves federal ownership and goes into private ownership in public land survey system states, okay? And it also goes the other way around, so it will track land that goes back into federal ownership those master tile plats are maintained now by the Bureau of Land Management, which is the successor to the General Land Office. Now, why is that important? Now, it's important because if you're in a western state and you're not inside of something like a Spanish land grant or a Mexican land grant, all source of land title in the United States came from a federal government patent. And so the master title plat shows you the very first deed to private ownership for almost all land in the public land survey system states, which is a big chunk in the United States. So I'm putting this video together because I want my survey text to be able to look at a master title plat and understand what it is. If you haven't yet, I have a couple other recent videos on YouTube. One talks about the main elements in order of survey of the public land survey system. And the other video uh, looks at three example township plats. Check those videos out before you watch this video because it will help. So one of the uh, plats that we looked at in my other YouTube video, one of the, the three sample plats, uh, what was, uh, or, or one of the townships that we looked at was this township. It's one north range 26 east, and it's over by Mono Lake. It's a very beautiful lake on the eastern edge of the Sierra Nevada. So here's the plat. There was actually two, so they came in and they surveyed the flat land around the lake first. This was mountainous, it didn't get surveyed. And then they came in and surveyed the rest of the township here in the mountains. Okay, so what, we, what we're gonna do today is we are going to look at the master title plat that shows how the land in this township went from federal to private ownership. And I believe, we're gonna double check, but I believe some of this land in, the, in this area here is still in federal ownership. So let's go ahead and take a look at the master title plat. I am going to just pull this over on my screen so here is the master title plat and it actually has two parts so you have this empty plat and then you, you have what they call lsr and i'm trying to remember i can't remember if this stands for land survey records oh man now i'm gonna feel bad yeah i can't remember i apologize guys i think this is oh it's land status records that's what it is if there's any any surveyors for the blm watching this they're going to be they're going to be yelling at their computers. Um, sorry, land status records, not survey records. So this is like the table that provides information on the different uh, patents and other documents that come out of the township. And this is the actual map. So this is the what I usually always look at first. And so what you can do is you zoom in here, is you can see what land has gone out to uh, to private ownership. So for example, in section 10, it looks to me like all of section 10 has come out to private ownership. Okay, now what I'm not sure about is this little piece right here in section 10. That may not be... Okay, so that looks to me like it is not... It's still federal. You can see right here it says Act of Congress, March 4th, 1931, Wilderness Protection of WS, whatever that is. So this little pieces of section 10 right here is still in federal ownership it looked like that that got protected in um, 1934 but the rest of this you can see with this dark solid lines these are what went to patent and so you can see right here this is two um, two parts of section 10 aliquot parts let's go in and look it might be lots let's go look at 10. so it, it helps to look at both I wish I could do that with you guys. Well, you might be able to do it here. All right. Okay, so it looks to me like this is the 
west half of the southwest quarter. That was this patent. So that's probably what the patent, the land description in the patent says. And then this piece here is the east half of the southwest quarter and the south half of the northwest quarter. That would be this L shape here, be right in here. Okay, and then it looks like this patent was for this to be the north east quarter of the northwest quarter of section 10 and then this government lot and this government lot and then this let's see that would be the west half of the southeast quarter and then there was one other looks like the north west quarter of the northwest quarter came out of here okay now these numbers should line up with some rows in the land survey record um, now I didn't pull there's actually one more sheet so I don't have them all but let's go take a look so the way this table is set up this gives you the section this column then it tells you which quarter you're in it actually goes down to the quarter quarter okay or lots government lots it gives you another other description the amount of acres the kind of entry so this is a homestead entry for example and then it gives you the, the file number so you got to remember, most of these patents, they're from the federal government. There, there is no book and page or document number like at the county recorder for this because it's a federal patent. Now, this is kind of interesting. These They've got all these Bodie numbers here, which I, I would assume is about the ghost town of Bodie. Um, but the other interesting thing is over here. So it gives you the date, and then it has a, a remarks. And it's, it, it's interesting that almost all of these that went out to Bodie got canceled. So... I'm not 100% sure what's going on. There's probably some interesting history there that I don't have. But let's just go see if we can find anything in Section 10 here. So I don't see anything in Section 10. Now, if you're not sure, so I don't know, it's interesting. I'll, I'll, if I don't know where Bodie was, if some of this stuff that was... Bodie was a ghost town, if, if some of this maybe came back out. That's interesting, I'm not sure. Now, if you're not sure what these abbreviations are, if you go to the BLM website, they've got this handy little um, set of abbreviations. Here's the URL, if you guys can see that. Uh, but it'll it'll tell you what those abbreviations are. So for example, one of them was, uh, was it DCE? No, I can't remember. DLE, let's go see if we can find that one. DLE, Desert Land Entry. Okay, so I've never heard of that. Interesting, so learned something new tonight. You have to you have to bear with me guys. My wife has had a glass of Chardonnay and is singing in the background. So I'm sorry. I she never watches my videos because if she did she'd probably be really angry that she could that you can hear her singing. Um <laughs> Alright, let me show you one other let me show you something else on this master title plat. So <clears throat> you can see if there isn't a dark line, that has remained in federal ownership. So they never sold anything in section twenty nine. And they didn't sell anything in most of 30. Remember, I told you I, I figured a, a quite a bit of this stuff in the mountains here was uh, still in federal ownership. Now, this north east quarter of 30 did come out. There was a patent there. Okay, so this this is all still in federal ownership. Now, they also will show you kind of cool stuff here. So here's some, some rights of way over federal land for the aqueducts that they've got running along here. So they also will show uh, right of ways. You can see this is the boundary of the Bighorn wilderness uh, addition in the US Forest Service. So there's all kinds of interesting things on here about the federal land rights. Um, so very cool, if you're doing any work in a public land survey system area, it's always a good practice to pull your master title plat and the corresponding land status record, not land survey record. So I wanted to show my folks that. You can pull these records from the very same site that you pull the township plats. I should probably show you guys that. Um, that might be another video, but it's the very same website that you pull the, the township plats from. So there you go, guys. Now you know about master title plats, TLO master title plats. Thank you for watching.